Taekwondo competition has emerged as one of the most familiar sports in the world. This new sport of Taekwondo, which originated from the Korean traditional martial arts, has been remarkably developed over a short period. The traditional Taekwondo was the martial art for self-defense under violent circumstances and also a moral principle for the spiritual cultivation in pursuit of the Oriental absolute realms of the Korean ancestors who attempted self-realization. Today's developed Taekwondo competition is now spreading its intrinsic value to the world as the mental disciplinary sport through which self-existence can be researched through severe free fighting and new self-accomplishment be realized together with the opponent. The impulse of incessantly creating amazement and beauty and through the peremptory techniques dealing forcibly and just like a flash at the vulnerable point revealed from the opponent's attacking movement. The contestants are in full pursuit of the stronger, faster, and more precise techniques during the competition. The fatal power extracted by the fierce revolution of the whole body. The beautiful motion created by the prominent flexibility. The world of the incessant, diversified techniques. The pursuit of the perfect techniques. The establishment of the staid mind. Taekwondo, which has been the moral principle for the incessant spiritual cultivation towards the absolute realms, now is about to realize its spiritual principle more newly and more widely through its reappearance as the sport competition. It's no accident that today's Taekwondo has made remarkable success as a sport more than any other martial arts. The Korean culture of martial arts has its own particular tradition which have been conducted as a sport from the ancient times. Taekyeon, the old name for Taekwondo, which has a long history of over 1,500 years, is the martial art with the animating and indomitable spirit of the ancient Koreans. Taekyeon competition, which was very exciting and romantic, had been prohibited by national law due to its excessive prevalence. Taekyeon masters kept sharpness of the techniques in softness and displayed perfectly their animating spirits with the daring techniques. Taekyeon, which had been developed by stressing the splendid and diversified kicking techniques, bore the fit conditions to be developed as the modern sport of Taekwondo, for which it had been exceptionally refined in the method of sparring from the early days. Today's Taekwondo competition has wholly kept its original forms contained in Taekyeon, and such original forms of Taekyeon have been kept mostly in the modern Taekwondo competition so far. The modern Korean Taekwondo instructors have created Taekwondo, the modern style of martial arts sport, on the basis of the original techniques of Taekyeon. Relevant efforts have been made in various ways to harmonize with the modern newness without any loss of the traditional zest and profundity. They made arrangements on the technique system more reasonably and developed various equipments for training and competitions. Furthermore, 
they developed the scientific and systematical training methods. The faith that the techniques of the martial arts would be truly developed only through the competitions availing of the full contact methods was their philosophy for the Taekwondo techniques. Through the accumulated experiences in the Taekwondo competitions held in Korea, the confidence has been increased that Taekwondo competition will reveal its valuable worthiness and the possibility to create the new culture of sports towards the international sports society. Finally, internationalization of Taekwondo competition began to sail since the World Taekwondo Federation was inaugurated in 1973. The World Taekwondo Federation, with which 112 member national associations are now affiliated, held the first World Taekwondo Championships in 1973 in Seoul, Korea, the original country of Taekwondo. Subsequently, since the second and the third World Taekwondo Championships were held in Seoul and Chicago, respectively, international development of Taekwondo competition has begun on a full scale. In Stuttgart, West Germany, the fourth World Taekwondo Championships was held in 1979, and the fifth World Taekwondo Championships was held in Guayaquil, Ecuador, in 1982. And with this, a taekwondo attracted universal attention as the fastest developing international sport. The sixth World Taekwondo Championship was held in Copenhagen, Denmark, with participation of 353 competitors from 51 countries, and taekwondo displayed its reputation as the international sport both in name and reality. In September of 1985, Seoul, Korea welcomed taekwondo competitors from 63 WTF member nations for the seventh World Taekwondo Championships after a lapse of 11 years. The competitors competed three times in the last 11 years in the championships, and furthermore, a matter of importance was that these participants have visited Seoul as the Taekwondo enthusiasts who could deeply understand and love its profundity, just like the Taekwondoists of the suzerain. that these competitors' techniques remarkably developed from before their visit. displayed the nearly matched competitions with the representing players of the suzerain before the enthusiastic spectators. As the starting point from the seventh World Taekwondo Championships, Taekwondo is now at a new point of takeoff in its history. The desire of the world Taekwondoists closely united together, centering around the Kukiwan as the nucleus of Taekwondo. That is, the adoption of Taekwondo as the official sport for the games of the 24th Olympiad. Power, techniques, and harmony of beauty. These are the ideals of techniques which Taekwondo is now in pursuit through the competitions. Taekwondo competitions stress the techniques more than any other sports. This is because Taekwondo was developed as the martial arts substantially before its having been developed as a sport. Kicking and punching, smart movement of the center of body gravity. 
active application of distance and space, transformation of the diversified footwork for this application. All of these are integrated and expressed as the diversified techniques. At the initial stage, the level of techniques of the competitors was very low, especially the gap in commanding techniques was great in comparison with the techniques of the Korean competitors. However, the highly cultivated techniques of the Korean competitors were rapidly transferred to the foreign competitors. Many people began to understand the Taekwondo competitions and to admire the attractive Taekwondo techniques. competition is no longer an unfamiliar sport. It has become an enthusiastic sport which so many people can enjoy. The most beautiful martial arts sport which human beings have ever created. competition demands sound physical strength and techniques of the high degree of difficulty and above all psychological potentiality keeping composure amid severity kick is the basic skill for dealing a blow on the opponent's middle part of the body, chin or face, by using the ball of the foot. The general basic pattern for training is front kick on the middle part of the body. The motion of the front kick is divided into three stages. When dealing a blow on the face by the front kick, the final motion of kicking with the extended knee joint shall be automatically made by forcibly lifting up the hip and upper leg. The basic training for kicking shall be concentrated on the accuracy of the moving form in accordance with the exact guidance. After being taken as an accurate moving form, power and speed shall be added. The round kick is one of the kicking skills by turning the upper part of the body spontaneously in sparring stance, and it is the most diversely used in the Taekwondo competitions. Oh, yeah. 
The round kick is divided into three stages as well as the front kick. Kicking skill to the opponent's face by round kick demands muscle strength and high flexibility. Basic training for a round kick is divided into stages. As it is difficult for a competitor to keep the balance of the body, training availing of any supporting materials is of help and to become accustomed to the correct form of the skill. kick and roundhouse kick are similar to each other in its moving character and any skilled person can apply the varied skills by changing the course of movement at his will which will be taken according to the posture of the opponent. The side kick is one of the most widely known kicking techniques in Taekwondo. The key point of the side kick is the motional shape of the deflated knee and that of the stretched knee. It is important to concentrate all the momentum in the stretching direction, preventing dispersion of power. Training for the side kick shall begin after flexibility of the hip joint has been sufficiently cultivated. is one of the most powerful kicking techniques in Taekwondo. The back kick is frequently used for counterattack with the same pattern as the side thrust kick in the motional shape. In the back kick techniques, it is important to transfer the angular momentum of the upper part of the body into the linear momentum by delicately controlling the motions of the hip and leg.
kick skill bearing the most beautiful shape of motion is the most widely known skill of the Taekwondo techniques. The back whip kick, which is a skill of a high degree of difficulty, demands the high flexibility and powerful muscular strength, coordination ability, and capability of keeping balance. Therefore, it is somewhat difficult to become accustomed to. Training for this skill, it is desirable for beginners to practice the skill of turning the entire body. After becoming accustomed to turning, it is necessary to whip gradually the flexing knee and hip joint. When gradually becoming accustomed to it, the motion of the back whip kick shall be shaped, increasing the turning power of the hip joint. whip kick is the skill to whip forward as the similar pattern with the back whip kick in the motional shape. This skill is difficult for a beginner to become accustomed to as it demands a special flexibility and powerful muscular strength of hip joint and leg. The hook kick is widely known as a unique and powerful skill of Taekwondo. To become accustomed to it and the capability to lift the leg up speedily, powerfully and highly shall be developed first. kick is a skill to thrust down the opponent's face with the sole of a foot and at this moment flexibility of the motion shall be maintained. Hand techniques of Taekwondo are as diverse as foot techniques. However, punching by fist to the body is allowed only in the Taekwondo competitions. Accordingly, hand techniques such as those of competitions have also a simplicity to a certain extent. techniques perform an important role as an effective counterattack against the opponent's foot techniques and also serve as the means to make the consecutive attack by foot techniques thereupon possible. two punching techniques on the basis of the sparring stance. One is a rear fist punching, making use of the back fist, and the other is lead fist punching of the front fist.
become well accustomed to Taekwondo techniques, especially for exercising the high degree of skills and flexibility related thereto shall be prominent. Particularly, flexibility of the waist and hip joint are important. Flexibility of the first class Taekwondo competitors is not inferior to that of the other sports competitors. that the kicking techniques of Taekwondo are the superior to those of the other martial arts is because there are diversified footwork controlling the stance and distance so that such kicking techniques can be effectively and well directedly displayed by adapting to the conditions against. These particular movements which have been developed and called Pumbagi from the old Taekyan have been accomplished in technical aspect through the modern Taekwondo competitions. Continuous footwork and stance verification therefrom are the tactical movements expressed on the basis of a certain principle. On this, the most important and basic thing is the stance of the two persons and the distance between them. When the sides of the foot of the two persons are positioned backwards, the posture is called the positive stance while the negative stance is where the opposite sides of the foot are positioned backwards. Generally, the competitors do not wish to expose their front part of the abdomen against the opponent's powerful foot positioned backwards. The competitors maintain a certain distance in the sparring or competitions. Such distance is decided considering the balance of attack and defense. In accordance with the proper distance from the opponent, a certain technique can be displayed accurately and effectively. However, a distance which the competitors maintain during the competition is not so near, and they try to maintain the distance from which a simple attack from the opponent will not be met. Varied footwork during the competition is necessary for choice of the proper stance against the opponent's attack, and also for securing the distance for attack. The most essential step is to be taken first, is to move the center of body gravity forward by drawing the foot to adapt to the opponent's stance. It does not always matter that the distance to the opponent is far. Sometimes there are many occasions not to make an accurate attack due to the short distance. In this case, relevant footwork is required and to secure the sufficient distance by moving the center of body gravity backwards. There are many occasions where moving by walking is more effective than that by drawing the foot simply forwards or backwards. For attacking on the part of the abdomen of the opponent, this kind of footwork is very important. Of course, this method can be applied to moving backwards and forwards.
There are so many kinds of footwork in Taekwondo, by walking, by drawing, by running, forwards, backwards, and sidewards. However, those are not separate, unrelated skills, but are always utilized by being interlinked to the attacking techniques of kicking and punching. techniques of kicking, punching, and footwork, it is not sufficient to explain the Taekwondo techniques for attack and defense. For attack, defense, and counterattack, the important tactical aspects are put into... First, let us take the case of the basic attacking tactics. As the simplest one, the attacking method to hit the opponent by moving quickly forwards. The attacking method by seizing the moment of the opponent's movement. The attacking method by catching the blind point after disrupting the opponent's center of body gravity and distracting his attention. The method to attack the opponent whose reacting power is distracted, availing of the faint motion of kicking with the lead leg or rear leg. Besides these kinds of basic methods, there are so many other attacking tactics. The Taekwondo competitors are taught those kinds of tactical methods according to the training course and manner established scientifically on the basis of the underlying principles in the technical aspect. Proficient Taekwondo competitors possessing the prominent attacking capability it can display the continuous attacks by consolidating the diversified techniques which are difficult for the opponent to escape from. Counter-kicking and counter-punching, which are the counter-attacking techniques to deliver a blow by watching a certain blind spot to be revealed from the opponent's attacking motion in respect of time to be taken and space, shows well that techniques of Taekwondo competitions are scientifically composed. Above all, taking the principle as an example of the running kick, in case of attack availing of the opponent's right foot positioned backwards, a blow shall be delivered on the exposed part of the opponent's abdomen while escaping from the opponent's attack by moving backwards slightly. It requires consideration in respect of the important principle involved in these techniques. When the opponent attempts a kicking attack with the right foot, in this case, the fact to be noted is that the direction of the exposed part of the opponent is kept constant 
and that once the opponent's kicking motion begins, the course of the movement cannot be changed until the end of such motion. The fact that any preemptive strike movement is apt to bring about exposure related thereto in respect to a certain degree of time and space. Counterattacking techniques avail of this principle. The same principle is also applied when attacking by left foot, whether it is positioned backwards or forwards. This principle can be applied to all the diversified kicking techniques. Accordingly, Taekwondo techniques can be patternized into the attack counter model established, and this fact is not only an element to prove Taekwondo to be the scientific martial arts, but also a grounds of securing safety technically, in spite of it being a severe martial arts sport. In accordance with the systematized technical model on the basis of the established principle, competitors are taught and accustomed to the techniques for the competitions step by step and pertinent tactics are chosen according to their structure in the Taekwondo competitions. competitions is not the ultimate purpose. Taekwondo is a traditional spiritual practice for self-discovery and self-realization through training and competitions before victory and defeat. Competitors always cultivate personality and train techniques under thorough guidance and rigid discipline. of behavior and stress profundity of techniques. Becoming skillful in the basic techniques, speed and power shall be added to the techniques by practicing kicking 
and threw in the air without any target against an imaginary opponent. practical sense of delivering a blow shall be acquired by exercising accurate delivery of a blow on the fixed target. Through exercising delivery of blows on the targets positioned in a series, capability to link relevant techniques together shall be improved and self-confidence in techniques thereof shall be strengthened. Through the accumulated exercise of dealing a blow in pursuit of the moving target, a basic tactical model shall be comprehended, linking reaction with the pertinent techniques. stage, tactical model for counterattack, attack and defense, wearing the protectors and actually standing opposite the opponent, that is the most important for training. Through this course, competitors can perceive strength and weakness of the opponent's attacking movement and realize the essential point of techniques and the principles of attack and defense pertinent thereto. It would be more precise to say that a certain pattern, a kind of martial arts, or any faction, does not mean the representing techniques pertinent to, but system and method of training to be accustomed to that technique. The sparring method, which most martial arts supplies, is limited to the standardized pattern, or one-step or three-step sparring simply assembled. But in Taekwondo, such a weak point and limitation has been overcome. And in return, the diversified scientific sparring methods have been developed. Especially, the merit of the sparring method adopted in Taekwondo is the stage-by-stage -stage coaching principle for safe and correct free sparring established by the various sparring methods according to the level of attained proficiency of techniques until the unlimited free sparring will be displayed. Before entering into the stage of free sparring, inspection shall be undergone by the prominent coach on the moving target, the sparring pursuing the moving imaginary target. Free technique sparring. That is the essence among the diversified sparring methods of Taekwondo. That is the proud heritage of the Korean culture of martial arts, coherent to the Korean traditional martial arts. Distance speed, techniques, any of them is not limited. Merely fatal power is just controlled with softness. Softly but acutely, without any loss of splendor and artistic effect. In appreciation of the opponent's techniques, those of itself are described among them. Technical splendor, animation, diversification, sharpness and accuracy, all of these are acquired by this free technique of sparring.
sparring to exercise joint sparring while wearing protectors, just like actual fighting, striking every possible blow. That is the discipline for becoming familiar with the sense of distance, timing, and tactics, with tension as good as that of actual competition, and for increasing the fighting spirit so as not to be afraid of the opponent while catching the strong and weak points of techniques. Taekwondo takes the spiritual meaning seriously in the system of training. Belief in unlimited possibility of the human being's ability. Pursuit of the true self-realization through the severe self-discipline of self-denial. Security of the exquisite techniques and strong body under the endless challenge. Establishment of self, not fatigued bodily and mentally in the severe sparring. Taekwondo is the way to pursue its spiritual principle, and Taekwondo competition is its continuation, space for its realization.